Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to draw the locus of points. Now if you don't have a compass on you, I do suggest you pause the video, go and find a compass, a pencil and a piece of paper. Because if you can do these examples accurately on a piece of paper in front of you at the same time as me on the board, it will be a lot easier for you to understand, get a feel for the examples and also remember them for next time. In the first example, it says draw the locus of points four centimetres from point A. Okay, here's the point. Locus is just another word for path. Okay, so we have to draw the path of points that are always four centimetres from that point A. So what you need to do is take a ruler with your compass and pencil and make sure there's a distance of exactly four centimetres between the compass point and the tip of your pencil. Okay. Once that's set to four centimetres, you need to place the compass point on point A and then draw round in a circle, one full circle, okay? I did try and do a bit of DIY um, and make a giant compass because I don't have a giant one at home, but it's so messy. I'm just going to talk you through the instructions and draw it properly on the board. So when you've done that, you should end up with a nice perfect circle around A, okay? If you look closely, every distance from the circumference to point A should always be a distance of exactly four centimetres. So the locus of points, four centimetres from point A, is just this line, okay, that you've drawn. It's the circumference of this circle. Okay, so that's the first one. Okay, for example two, it says draw the locus of points equidistant from A and B. Now this means exactly the same thing as bisect the line AB and also draw the perpendicular bisector of the line AB. So they all mean the same thing. Now what you have to do is take your compass and pencil and you need to open it so that the distance between the tip of the compass and your pencil are wide enough that it's just over halfway along the length of your line. Now once it's set like that you need to place the point of your compass on one end of the line so I'm going to start with A and then you must draw an arc above the line and also below the line being careful not to change this distance in between okay so when you do that on your piece of paper you should have a nice arc above and below the line something like that okay now again keeping the same distance here you have to do the same thing on the opposite end of the line. Okay, so you place your compass point on point B and you draw an arc above the line and again below the line. Okay, so when you do it, it should look something like that. Now, when you have those arcs above and below your line, you need to take a ruler and you need to join up the points where your arcs cross each other. Okay, so you should have a straight line going down like that, okay? So that line that I've just drawn is the locus of points, okay? That's your answer. That line is always equidistant from A and B. So that just means it's always the same distance to A as it is from B, no matter where you are along that line, okay? Bisect the line AB means cut the line in half, which we have done. If you measure this length and this length, they should be the same, okay? And then finally, perpendicular bisector, well, bisect, remember I said means cut in half, so we've bisected the line. And perpendicular, well, that means at 90 degrees. This angle here is 90 degrees, okay? So we've answered that question. When you get a question like this with the locus of points, be careful to leave the arcs on your exam question, okay? Often you get points for having those arcs there, okay? So don't rub them out. Okay, on example three, it says draw the locus of points equidistant from AB and BC. And we've got another way of wording the same question. It could also say bisect the angle ABC. So what you need to do is take your compass and pencil again and this time make sure the distance is quite small, okay? When I say small, make sure it's smaller than the length of this line, okay? So something like this, okay? Then you need to put the point of your compass on point B, okay? Once it's on point B, you can draw a little arc along that line and then along the other line. 
Okay, so make sure again that you don't change the distance in between when you do those little arcs. So you should end up with something like that. Now, it doesn't matter if you change the distance now for the compass and the pencil. So if, if you like, it's a bit easier to make it a bit wider. The next step is to place the compass point on the point where your arc crosses the line. So if we look at the top first one, I mean this little point here. So place the point of your compass on that point and then you need to do a nice arc in the middle, okay, in between those lines. Okay, so you'll have something like that. Okay, now keeping the distance the same for the second arc, you need to now place your compass point down here. Okay, on the second point where the first arc crossed that line BC and you do the same thing okay so with your compass point on there you draw an arc okay just be careful not to move the distance here as you do so now that you've got all the arcs in place you can take your ruler and your pen or pencil and then you need to join up point B with where those two arcs cross and you draw a straight line Okay, so that line that I've just drawn is the locus of points equidistant to A, B and B, C. So that just means wherever I am along that line, it should always measure the same distance to the line A, B as to B, C. Okay, so that's the first one. And bisect the angle A, B, C, it just means bisect angle B, okay? A, B, C is here, so angle B is the angle you're bisecting. Remember, bisect means cut in half, okay? So that's what we should have done, okay, if we've drawn it accurately. And um, just a little trick to spot what you need to do in these questions a little bit more easily. Um, look for the letter that's been repeated. That's the angle that you need to bisect, okay? So B in this case. And when you're looking at this type of format for the question, it's the middle letter is the angle you're bisecting, so angle B. I hope you found those examples on drawing the locus of points easy to understand, despite me doing them on the whiteboard rather inaccurately. If you want to see at the end of my video, um, I've drawn them accurately on a piece of paper, so you can check those out as well. Soon I'll have another video coming with uh, drawing the locus of points on exam questions, which is a lot harder usually, uh, so keep your eyes peeled for that.